What's up everybody, it's Randy Castor. Just wanted to go over a few things we've got going on this week and uh, go over the new Pro Pack, which is going to be released this Friday at 12 Pacific time. And then I'm gonna go over my exact tire prep from the West Coast Nationals, which was really good out there. So I wanna share that information with everybody. And then just go over the races for this upcoming weekend really quick as well. Um, so first off, We've got our fourth generation Pro Pack. I've got a brand new stand with it. And also this is your first look at the little clip that goes over the top, which just keeps everything in place in your pit box uh, while you're traveling. Pull that off and everything comes out really easily, of course. And then it goes back on just as easily when you want to travel with it. So our old stands didn't have that um, clip to keep everything in place and uh, you know you basically had to assemble it every time you pull it out and wanted to put these in your pit so the new one takes care of that also looks cooler takes up a smaller footprint in your pit and also the retail packaging for our one-up racing dealers is shorter than it was before so it's going to take up less space on your walls if you uh, choose to put it in a cabinet they used to have to lay down, it wouldn't stand up on its own. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my space here. So they used to have to lay down, wouldn't stand up on its own. The new ones now stand up on their own. So you can actually get four in the same space that you would have been able to put one of our last revision. So more product per square foot in your shops. There was one issue I ran into that I wasn't expecting, and that issue is going to make our first releases very limited. In fact, I only have 65 going up this Friday at noon Pacific time. And the reason for that is our jar vendor changed up our jars, and the new ones are a fraction of a millimeter taller, which means three of them stacked together is a couple millimeters taller, which makes our new clip uh, useless. <laughs> so I had enough jars to pack up 65 of these. The first 65 are going live on Friday as promised. Those are going to get eaten up really quickly. So you're going to want to be right on there uh, on our website at pickoneup.com right at that time of release to make sure you get one of the first ones. Uh, luckily our clips are 3D printed by Varger Industries. Great quality prints. I've been super happy with them. Um, they're already working on a next batch. I will have more of these next week with the updated clip and then we'll be able to put the new larger jars in there. It's always something, man. <laughs> so next up, uh, I, I came out of retirement a couple weekends ago at Finish Line RC Raceway for the West Coast Nationals and I truly feel my tire prep was just on point. I think I had the best tire prep there and uh, with that being said, I want to share exactly what I did with you guys. So if you're using our cruise missile, tire additive, and tire grip activators, you can get the most of them. So we released our, uh, our tire additive some time ago, and it's been really good, but I wasn't 100% happy with how it came out of the gate, meaning your first couple laps needed a little bit of warm-up. So we needed something to bring it in faster, but still give you that strong finish of the run that it already provides. And that's when we started testing for a grip activator. So this is used as a tire cleaner and this is used as your tire additive. Um, I wanna go over exactly how I clean the tires and uh, kind of show you the steps I took out in Bakersfield to get insane traction. I was the only car out there that didn't have to do any warm up laps. Um, it just set it down and the grip was perfect with this setup. So you're gonna take your grip activator out. And apply that to a blue towel, just like so. Now you take your tires and these are fresh off the car. They haven't been clean and you, I store them in a bag, but I don't want to clean them until I'm ready to do my tire prep because this is going to soften the rubber as well. So cleaning them is a pretty simple process. This would normally be on the car. Uh, I actually left my MTC2 with Jacob Cruz so they could copy the setup over. I thought the setup on that was just awesome last weekend or a couple weeks ago. So you're gonna wipe it on 
and then basically wipe it dry. So now we've got a nice clean tire. You can see all the gunk came off from that last run out there. And I did use tire warmers out in Bakersfield. So let's go over exactly how I do my warming prep. Take a blue towel, fold it over, fold it over, fold it over again. And now we're gonna take that, cut it in half, cut it in half again, and one more time. So now we've got basically four strips about the width of a tire. And pull that apart. So this is what you're gonna end up with, four of those. Wish I had a car right here to do this, but you're gonna take your tire additive and daub it right onto the tire. So you can see we've got a nice coat all the way around the tire. Not super wet, definitely not dry, not a light coat. We want it on there. Now, and again, this is easier on the car, but you take your strip, wrap the tire in it, pull out your tire warmers, and that's gonna go in there and it creates a nice snug fit. So that tire's snug in there. We've got our blue towel wrapped on that. Now, I started this process 20 to 25 minutes before a run. Um, didn't really seem to matter if I missed my timing a little bit, but as long as I started um, within that 20 minutes before I wanted to run time frame, the results were excellent. So step one is you're gonna clean the tire and start that about 20 minutes before the run. I actually let the tire um, grip activator sit in for about a minute before wiping it dry. I know I just wiped it dry right away for you guys here. So. Clean the tire with the grip activator, let it sit on there. If there's any still wet after a minute, wipe it dry. Now you're gonna start your tire additive application. And uh, you wanna do that 17, 18 minutes before you're going to run. Um, so I showed you how I applied the additive. We wrapped the tire with the towel, we then put it in our tire warmer. I heated the tires up to 62 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes roughly 15 minutes. I basically wanted to pull these warmers off um, as close as I could before the run as comfortable, whereas I'm not holding up tech, I'm not like super late to get onto the track or anything. So I was pulling the warmers off about two minutes before the run, maybe three minutes before the run, going through tech, getting the car out there. Um, and as soon as I set it on the track, the grip was perfect. It didn't need a warm-up lap. It didn't need any kind of warm-up or any anything. There was grip right from the get-go, and you can feel that right away when you start it up. Um, your car's not going to be sliding around or anything, so um, everyone else is doing warm-up laps, and to me, that's just kind of crazy. Um, your tire has a ton of traction when everything, if everything's done right, right out of the gate, it's going to have its most traction. You're out doing warm-up laps. You're scrubbing away the best traction you can have, and uh, it just kind of baffles me. So try this without any warm-up laps, and it takes some time to get comfortable, too. Uh, the car is going to be overly reactive. It might feel a little edgy, and you basically just have to drive to back your driving down on those first few laps to like 85, 80, 85% or so, and you just kind of cruise around the track. You don't want to push the car too hard in those opening laps you'll start to feel that edginess go away and that's when you're going to feel more comfortable with the car and you can really get into your normal driving. But those opening laps, you can do the same lap times with an 80, 85% push. So stay smooth in those opening laps. Practice this on your practice days. It takes some time getting used to a tire that doesn't have any warm up lap. But if you can master that, your opening laps are just going to be fast. Um, so that's what I was doing for tire prep. These two work so freaking well together. I think that's probably the best. <laughs> this is the best combo I think I've ever run, honestly. Um, we sourced, we tested, we tried a bunch of different things. They're not made by the same factory. Like we tried different things. 
Um, your tire additive is actually made in Japan. The grip activator is made in the USA. So completely different places, but man, do they work well together. So now for this weekend, um, we've got our one-up buggy challenge, our inaugural, uh, inaugural race at Hobby Action coming up starting this Friday. It's awesome to see how many drivers are in attendance for this one. We're using it as the uh, IFMAR Worlds warm-up as Hobby Action's also hosting the IFMAR Worlds later this year. So we've got a ton of international drivers. We'll be streaming the whole weekend through Mod Live Media. That'll be available on our One Up Racing page as well as the Mod Live Media and Hobby Action pages. So if you're not able to make it out and check it out in person, and if you can, do it, get out there. It's gonna be a show. We've got the world's best drivers thrown down this weekend. Um, super excited for it. We also have the Roar Pave Nationals this weekend out in Florida. And I'm honestly a little bummed that the races are on the same weekend because after uh, how my weekend went in Bakersfield, I probably would have gone out to the Roar Nationals and just seen how I could do. I had a lot of fun kind of coming out of retirement, racing the, uh, the West Coast Nationals. So a little bummed I can't make the Roar Nationals, but good luck to everybody out there. I know you guys are gonna have a great time try this tire prep out there to all my one-up customers who already have these two out there. Um, if you don't, head over to Jacob Cruz's pit. Jacob and Mark Cruz should have some, extra th some extras of these, but maybe they can even let you try theirs if they don't have a bunch out there with them. Um, try this tire prep. I think once you try it, you're gonna be hooked. You're gonna love it. And then the third race we got this weekend is out at Cal Raceway. We've got the Scale Championships and One-Up Racing is also sponsoring that one. So good luck to all my friends out in California. I hope you guys have a great time out there this weekend too. Thank you guys for checking in. Hope this was useful. Leave me any questions, comments uh, below, and I'll be sure to answer those as I can. Thanks guys, have a great day.